for the last three and a half months, he has religiously been stepping onto the big stage to inform the nation of its status of the COVID-19 pandemic. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kagwe jumped onto the big stage just days into his appointment. Now, the health and well-being of the entire nation is in his hands. More than 100 days later, says Kagwe says prevention is better than cure, bearing in mind the disease could be around for quite a bit. Now, the former Nyeri senator spoke to Charity Mwangi on a wide range of issues. This is the one who sings uh, Mimi mi, <laughs> Barely two weeks in office, the COVID-19 pandemic had landed. Health Cabinet Secretary Mtahi Kagwe jumped right into the battlefield to protect the well-being of an entire nation. Nobody knew how to deal with this, with this and there was nobody else to copy from. The daily press conferences started, briefing the nation on COVID-19 status with the pressure to come up with the answers. It's been a, a very steep learning curve. You know, 24-7, there is no time to, to relax. Fortunately for me, I have got a very strong team. The point most Kenyans would wait on being... In the last 24 hours... And at first, his approach was subtle. If we continue to behave normally, this disease will treat us abnormally. But he soon got assertive. Frustrating is only one thing, because frustrating is me, is an individual getting frustrated. Scary is because of what you can see as the lost opportunities and the cost to the community thereof. C.S. Kagwe's battles escalated, not just with the world pandemic, but some agents of festering corruption in his own Afya house. How does somebody, you know, walk from the streets, go to the Ministry of Health, sit somewhere in a boardroom and do a deal with somebody and sign a contract as if they are officials at the Ministry of Health. Where on earth, except in the movies, does something like that happen? This is the only place me I know where people are actually transferred and they go to a court of law. And the strange thing, the strange thing is that then the courts actually give an order. You know, people walking around there, they have no job. Their job is to come and collect a voucher from this office, take it to that office, take it to that office, take it to that office, then come, come and give you the, the voucher and you pay them in the same office. So, I mean, isn't that strange? C.S. Kagwe is not new to public life. The former Nyeri senator also served as Minister for Information, Communication and Technology under President Mwai Kibaki. While that exposure counts for something, the health CS cannot imagine that his persona and abrasive style of delivering his message alone will work for him in this position. One has to be made of sterner stuff to be able to hold such a position and deliver. His public service journey is captured on pictures spread all across his office. Moving forward, he is keen to meet expectations of the nation, come what may. It's difficult. Corruption fights back. And it fights back vehemently. So we are there and uh, there is no retreat. There is no surrender. His ambitions have had to be shelved. The pandemic always throws him a curveball every time he thinks he has time to breathe. I have not really had time to wonder about what is going to happen in the next five years. I just want the next couple of days done, and then the next couple of days, and then the next couple of days. And perhaps at some point, when all this has calmed down, then I can sit back and say, okay, now, hey, Mutai, what do you want to do? But there have been some light moments amidst this tough period in history. I laugh like everybody else. I sing along. You know, when you say, I can get it, I can get it, I, 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 just, I just go along. And when they propose there's a new meal, <laughs> they call a Kagwe special, I, I go someplace and order it as well. I mean, <laughs> Kagwe says he will keep pushing until his interventions offer a remedy to the prevailing health crisis and beyond, if only to keep the doctor away. Charity Mwangi, NTV, Nairobi. <laughs>